I think it's easy to want to jump to forgiveness, right? Because everyone always says, we have to forgive, we have to release. When you hold on to anger, you're really just, what is it? Like drinking your own poison or something, whatever that saying is. I think I butchered it, that might not be it. But it's something along the lines of when you hold on to resentment, all you're doing is drinking your own poison. But I believe that when we skip to forgiveness, we're actually just bypassing our actual true feelings that need to move through us, Like right? Like we need to open our heart and allow that pain to move through us to be able to actually move on to the actual deep embodied forgiveness that is really gonna bring us that peace and that sense of internal abundance and openness and expansion that we're looking for. So the next day I experienced this anger. I was like journaling about it. I was pissed off and I had this like sacred tantrum with myself and just released all of the anger on my bed, just like punching my pillows and I let it all move through me and I was pissed. And I was just saying all of the things that I always wanted to say but never could. I was just saying them as if all these people were there listening to me. And after that was done, I felt exhausted. There was no more anger in my body and I didn't even feel, there was no sense of anger anymore. There was just like a sense of peace, of detachment. And from that place, I moved into, um, forgiveness with ease without even trying I immediately for the most recent person I felt had betrayed me I immediately saw their inner child like their highest self in the form of a child in front of me and I saw the hurt part of them that had caused them to hurt me in a way that they did not consciously desire to and I just had this vision of myself like picking up their inner child and hugging them and giving them so much love and I just moved through this deep forgiveness and it was like this something fell off my shoulders something just left me like detached and I all I suddenly in that moment it's like we had returned to love I only felt love in that moment it was just grace and ease and forgiveness and love and the reason I'm sharing this story is because I think forgiveness is such an important piece in our healing journeys and our manifestation journeys because Especially for those of you, I know right now there's so much attention on divine union. Everyone is either desiring to deepen their union with their current partners or they're desiring to attract divine union. It's going to be very difficult to move into a space of divine union in whatever way you're desiring it if you still are holding resentment or energetic attachments to other people. Because we'll continue to attract from those wounds, from those attachments until we move through them. Right? We're always going to unconsciously attract from those places because the universe or God's spirit is trying to bring it to the surface, right? Until you move through it, which is why I had patterns of betrayal over and over and over until I realized that I was projecting this on God. So I was cracked open finally by the last one, cracked open, let it move through me, let it transmute. Then I was able to just love myself there. And then I was able to move through forgiveness and release these attachments that, I, that I've had. And this opens up so much space that can now be filled by the actual kind of masculine presence that I'm desiring. Whether that means the people already in my life show up in a different way or new people are attracted into my reality. And so going back to the forgiveness piece, if we try to force forgiveness, it's not real for embodied forgiveness, it's mind forgiveness. And true healing and expansion doesn't happen in the mind it's not possible it happens in the body in the nervous system but you're not gonna we're not gonna be able to embody that forgiveness if we haven't moved through the emotions yet and i think if you're in the spiritual world there can be a lot of judgment around allowing yourself to be angry or around blaming right like oh i shouldn't be a victim i know it's not their fault i know they have all this trauma and hurt that you know which is why they did this but it's really important to let yourself go to a place of, you know what, in this moment, I am a victim and this is unfair. And I am pissed the fuck off. This is an, is an important space to be. And oftentimes there's so much hurt underneath the anger, but we can't even access the hurt because the anger is on top. And if there's another layer on top of that, of let me just be forgiving and let me be love and light and peace and just let this move through me. If we go straight to that space, all we're doing is repressing everything else. And pretending that we're okay and we're at peace with everything when in reality we're going to continue to attract from this internal space of resentment and anger and hurt that we've never processed never witnessed never loved on and so how do you actually get to a place of forgiveness you don't do it by trying to forgive you do it by being present in each moment with how you're actually feeling and allowing it to move through you 
no matter what that looks like without attaching any stories to what's moving through you. That's how you get to a space of forgiveness naturally. Because when you crack yourself open, when your heart is open to actually receive divine love, forgiveness is easy, it's natural. It is, it is your essence, right? Your essence is unconditional love. Unconditional love is unconditionally loving. It's not selective, right? We set our boundaries, of course, but it doesn't mean that we stop loving, we stop forgiving. We stop forgiving. Because yes, we know at our core that they don't know what they're doing. They are acting from their trauma, their unconscious wounds. But it doesn't mean that the way I'm feeling is any less valid or less important. And it's really important to let that move through us. 